guys, I'm Tim. I'm Bob. And I'm Dan. This is the Board Game Rundown. This week, we've got games we played, news, Kickstarters, top five. You did it in the right order that time. I know. That's I know. awesome. Been working on it. That's awesome. Uh, Dan, tell us uh, the really cool news so far. We did it, guys. Shortly after last episode where we talked about once we hit 100 subscribers, we would name drop the person who was the 100 subscriber, except with the caveat that if you have a profile set to private then we cannot name drop you we hit a hundred subscribers maxing our goal that we wanted to reach but it was a private subscription so uh, <laughs> so 101 so, so instead 101 subscriber joseph foster yay, yay! Joseph. thank you thank you you helped us pass 100 you know i guess it's and now, past 100 yeah, yes. yeah we're past 100 you helped us pass the, we oh, are building up we are building up to the undisclosed number for a giveaway so please mm. keep watching yep. tell your friends subscribing so on and so forth. Yep. Yeah. Thank you guys. It's been awesome so far, and it's gonna seriously get more awesome. I, I believe, get so excited awesome. every time we even just get one more subscriber. Uh -huh. I don't mm -hmm. care. I'm really grateful for it. So honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I yep. appreciate it. Way down here. Way down there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. So we're gonna go into games we played first. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Who's, Who's going, going first? Uh, Mine's real light. Sure. Mine's pretty light too. I'll, I'll, I'll jump week. in there. So I, I was here last week. I had a couple of weeks. My friend Ben and I. Hammered Clank Legacy hard, finished it out. Nice. nice. Yep. Congrats. Last night, yeah, we did the last. Still one. great, right? So good. Okay. And that's actually a legacy game that I might actually go back and play again. Nice. Yeah, especially because right. like you know you get like patron cards that like dictate different settings oh, of the do? game. I wouldn't know. Spoilers. I know. And um, <laughs> ruined. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Literally never yeah. played. <laughs> but yes. <laughs> cool. Awesome. So, yeah. mm -hmm. Well, good. Congrats. That's yeah, awesome. Thanks. Yeah. Finishing a legacy game is tough. It's, I know it's so tough. It's tough. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so I did something pretty cool. Okay. My list is uh, two games, one of which will be mentioned altogether. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, and the second one, two of us played. Tim and I played this really cool game that actually doesn't have a name yet because it's the one we're making. Yeah. But we actually sat down at a table and like started playing with some of the mechanics and stuff. It and was really. It cool. really started to fall into place like pretty easily yeah. too. I'm really impressed nice. with. With, so, with some of the ideas yeah. that this clown's got over here. Bit of a tease there, but so, that was yeah. cool to actually sit down and set stuff up and like literally kind of play for a couple minutes right like, yeah you know, this doesn't work how are we going to do this yeah and it really yeah it was a good experience nice. it was a lot of fun cool yeah, yeah i'm excited about that yeah. i uh i learned how to play but have not played yet uh mourner's call ah, cool. court oh. of the dead nice. unboxing so yeah we've got an unboxing oh we're playing that game and yeah. we're gonna do a review nice. like real soon because good. you said there's two layer blair boards so you know i'm in yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, oh man it's going to be, trust me, this game's like right up your alley. I'm nice. going to be really disappointed if okay. it's not as good I'm as gonna it looks. I'm going to not like it on purpose. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, what else you got? Um, uh, my Kickstarter of the Five Minute Mystery came oh, in. Oh, yeah. Uh, and that was a lot of fun. It's super light, five minutes. Uh, some of them are a little bit longer. They give you more time in the, in the trial one to figure sure. out how to play it. But it was a cool, neat little mechanics. Like, even Sarah didn't seem too thrilled when I started putting it out, but then by the end, she's grabbing the codex. She's like, okay, you guys figure that out. I'm going to figure it out. You know, <laughs> yeah. looking for the symbols and, and finding it, figuring it out. Nice. And, yeah, yeah, this was, sounds cool. Yeah. It sounds like they actually, they didn't just make another five-minute game. Like, they mm, could have. Right. Like, they actually changed the mechanics around it. Yeah. I mean, I like cool. five-minute Marvel a lot and have fun playing it. I haven't played Marvel, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it plays exactly like I, the normal one, I which think I so. played. Yeah, because so. I don't, there, I, there wasn't really much to Marvel that seemed like Sure. Yeah. Uh, it's literally just play the cards with the matching symbols like as yeah, fast as possible. Yeah, but you've got a unique player power depending mm, on what sure. superhero you are. So it, I imagine I think, in I Dungeon, do, what class you are, remember. maybe, you know, Paladin does this. If, if it helps, uh, Ben said he had played Five Minute Dungeon and didn't care for it much, and mm -hmm. he enjoyed what we were doing last yep. night. Okay, so. cool. Right on, right on. You guys have any more? We all played Arctic Scavengers. We did. Today. We played it. What does that mean? Why would we play Arctic Scavengers? Bum, bum, bum. Board game roulette. Oh, that's it. Yeah. yeah, we did it for board game roulette. We did. Wait, who won? Uh, I don't. You remember. gotta watch the episode you, to find. You out. You should probably yeah. watch the episode to figure out who won. <clears throat> yeah, who, who was <laughs> who was handed? The so I'm gonna just put, <laughs> we need a, a new rule for roulette is the person who came in last uh -huh. should get to put the thing up. Why? Because it was me. Okay. Specifically. <laughs> I see. I, I, when I, I start see, winning, the rule will change right. again. That's fair. Okay. I mean, I'll just be transparent. Right. So many spoilers. Beep, beep, uh, beep, beep, beep. Yeah. That's good. Uh, it's, I got one yeah. more game that I played. Yeah, do it. Uh -huh. It was online. Okay. And it was, so it was coming as a surprise. Uh -huh. Among Us. Axes and Allies. Oh, right on. Yeah. yeah. I'm playing it online a lot. So. <laughs> Every time I launch Steam, <laughs> it's like, Bob is away from his computer currently playing Axis and Allies. I'm just like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ugh. Always. So we'll go into news then. Steam right now Ooh. just Ooh. launched Game of Thrones. Yep. The board game on Steam. Yes, they did. It's on a discount, actually. Right Unfortunately, now. this looks like what I don't really like. I'm sure it's fun, and I haven't been able to play the Game of Thrones board game yet, uh-huh. so I'm sure it'd be cool. But it is like a, it's like Lords of Waterdeep on Steam, which I enjoy. I own it, but I mean, it's just like 2D board and yeah, implementation. You just move your, like, that's what I'm saying. I'm so. Why the root one looks cool? I'm so happy with like what they did with root, and it's like let's turn this into an actual game instead of just a 2D representation of a right. game. Right. I don't mind that so much because that's pretty much what Axis and Allies it, is. Yeah. But like it helps to get the game played with like maybe people you don't know, you know, because like it's hard and, to find people in my local area that and will play. And it's easier than tabletop simulator and, and because, way cheaper because, because it does what it's supposed to. And it won't to make do. you make wrong moves. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's like oh, what do you mean I can't do that? Oh, apparently it's against the rules. Yeah. <laughs> TTS, anything goes. That's right. That <laughs> oh, no, table. I could totally do this. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. how I win. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's fair. Yeah. Uh, okay, other news. This is the big news for me this week, and you guys probably know about this mm-hmm. already, okay. is GameFound well, oh. okay, yeah. is going from just being like a pledge manager s- uh, service Correct. to actually being a new uh, crowdfunding, crowdfunding source. Platform. Yeah. Platform. Uh, and it is... Pretty much like Awaken Realms right now, but yeah. they're going to open it up. It sounds like that yeah. other people can submit projects. One of the neat things I thought that they were going to do, and this kind of separates them from Kickstarter. Well, one, it's seamless, right? You're like all in the same all place. All in the same spot, yep. Which is probably way easier for the uh, creators, yep. content creators. The, uh, the the other thing I thought was really cool is in the, in the chat and in mm. the messaging, you can hashtag things. So then it's easier to find, like if people have rules questions. Mm. Hashtag um, rules. Yes. Mm. Uh, and then you can also see it's easier to see like the stretch goals. Like, so if you've backed a project, right. it looks like the stretch goals pop like up like and then, right there. Yeah. And you've got like the little progress bars that tell you how close you are to the different stretch goals. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's just like little aesthetic things, yeah. but I mean, you've got to do something different to not be mm. Kickstarter. Right. Yeah. If you're going to try, uh, do you, uh, the name, the one they're going to start it with Awaken Wild. Oh yeah. The ISS, ISS Vanguard. Vanguard. Yeah. It looks super cool. Yep. <sighs> One I, to four co-op? No? no? I was it's not themed. blown away with the way this game looks. Okay. Hold on. Dan. Dan. I mean, like, gameplay Space mechanic and stuff. Dan. Obviously, Awaken Realms games look incredible, but I'm saying... Dan. Yeah, go on. It's Awaken Realms. No, I know. Shut and up. That's what I'm worried about is, like, not <laughs> no, that it's going to be bad, <laughs> but that I know it's going to be great. Yeah. And, like, I'm just annoyed that I'm not... Excited like, about yeah, it. Like, like, grab were you yeah, excited like, by Great Wall? Page, but think about this Think about how excited no, you were about. I guess I wasn't. Yeah. Think about how excited you were about smartphone and the letdown. So this is probably. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So you want to go right. in being a Debbie I should, You're everything. welcome. You guys just taught me. Yeah. I should hate yeah, we everything. Should, right. we, we are yeah. doing you a we're favor. I'm only friends with you guys because I hated you the second I first saw you. And now see how much you like us. He still hates us. He still hates us. But just like a little less. Yeah. Someday maybe. Means to an end. Yeah. Means to an end. Because he's now on a show. That's right. Uh, <laughs> but, all right. Yeah. So, yeah, I, th- I just cool. thought I, I'm optimistic. Yeah, I, me too. I don't have anything against Kickstarter. I never look at GoFundMe. Mm. I never do because the money you contribute to GoFundMe is gone, regardless oh, of if it funds pass or, or not. Fail. Yeah. Uh, yeah, money's gone. Yeah, no So, thanks. I don't even ever look. Once I found that out, I was like, nope. Not yeah. looking. Kickstarter makes sense. Yeah. You know, and like, I get hey, it. If you, if you get enough people to pledge, I'll pledge too. And Kickstarter is also crowded. Yeah. So it makes it sense also because I think that on GameFound you're going to see it it seems like it's going to be a, a more welcoming platform for the smaller publishers. Okay. Right? You, know, you think it's going to be people. called like founding a game? No, I don't. No, I'm genuinely curious. I like think it's Kickstarter be has GameFound. Okay, but like what do you say when you back a game on on GameFound? I'm saying oh, Kickstarter is such a clever marketing thing to say I kickstarted a kick game. Kickstarted a game. A, right. And it's sure. such a it, it's a it, verb it too. It flows so well. Yeah, right. you can use that word so many different ways. So I'm wondering are they going to take advantage of saying I founded a game or something like that, you know? We'll find out. Semantics, we'll see. We'll find semantics. Out. Yeah. <laughs> we'll find out. Uh, so speaking of that, do you guys want to move into Kickstarters? You got more news? Yeah. Uh, I do not. I yeah. do not have news. Donut news. Donut news. Today in Donut News, pink Today sprinkles are delicious. Krispy Kreme news. is coming out with their pumpkin donuts. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they are. They are. Yeah. Literally, because Sarah was like, man, this smells like pumpkin at Aldi. Uh-huh. And their co-worker was like, yeah, Krispy Kreme is but yeah. Yeah. a maple syrup uh, yeah, donut. Yeah, yeah. What month is it? Genius. Yeah. <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll just go with the sad news first. Our, right. our pet project, the project that we were pulling for, we've done a bunch of videos for uh, Lost the Time. They pulled the plug with like 10 days left to go. Mm-hmm. They didn't feel like it was heading in the way it needed to go. So they're going to revamp some things. Yep. Uh, I believe that this project's going to come back. Yeah, mm-hmm. 100%. Um, I'm 
really, really, really like the game. Yeah. I want a version of this game. I, I was excited about it. So we'll we'll see what happens. But I wish them luck at Cryo North. Uh, I look forward to yep. seeing what you guys have coming because yep. they, they had a good game with some unique stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're just, I think they're going to take a look at their marketing um, and stuff because, you know, I, it's weird to say, right? But I do understand that, like, while we were very lucky to have the game and we supported them and we had lots of fun conversations back and forth and stuff, we're not going to get their game out there. Right. You know, we, they're helping us grow just as much as we're trying to help get their information right. out. Right. So uh, I think that they, they are going to take a look at, making sure to hit some people that will definitely get their game out there sure. more so. Um, sure. And because I really think their game is great and they had a very strong following. Like yeah. they're super On supportive Facebook. fans yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Mm. Um, yep. So I really think a lot of it is just people not seeing the game. Yep. I really think that's part of it. So. I think so. Mm -hmm. I think so. And also right at the time, there's a ton. Right now, there's like a ton of big Kickstarters coming out. There are. Sure. Yeah. So. Uh, but kind of along those lines, yes. and after watching last week's episode. Uh-oh. Dan was right, okay, so you can cut that out, and uh, you probably won't need that footage in the future, but <laughs> just in <laughs> <Yeah>. case. <laughs> one, one and done. Uh, Plunderous, I had backed uh, it. Uh, <laughs> it has been canceled as well. Oh, what? Plunderous I, got canceled? It got canceled. They're going to come back. They're going to re-release it again. Just like this there. week then? Yep. Oh, okay. This, uh, I did not see that. I think it was actually Sunday, like the day you were filming. Oh, okay. Like I got the uh, email. Womp, yeah, womp. and I was like, oh, that stinks. And then I saw like that video. I was like, oh, you're right, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, so, okay. Yeah. All right, all right. Well, A little bit of sad news to start the Kickstarter, but there's some other hopefully good things I'll jump, coming out here. I'll jump on the big one then. All right, go ahead, Tim. Uh, Dungeon Fighter. Okay, yeah. Dungeon Fighter originally did the thing <laughs> I hate. Uh, Dungeon Fighter, oh, yeah. one to six players. What I hate, what I hate, what I hate is they had four different box like sets of the game. Yes. And it's like, oh, you could buy this one, one. or this one or this one. And yeah. it's like, I don't know what the heck the difference is. Just give me all this stuff in mm -hmm. one box. So what they did they do? What they do? Well, <laughs> they did it, but they didn't. Okay. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay. So for it's a paradox. <laughs> right. So for forty two dollars you get one of the boxes. Yeah. Seventy seven dollars you get two. Uh hundred and thirteen you get three. Hundred and forty two you get all four. Or you could get the big box for hundred and eighty four. And I was like why is that not 142 yeah. where you get the big box? Yeah. Well, it's a magnetically closing box wow, okay. and a whole bunch of extra like tokens and yep. upgraded bits. Deluxifies everything, holds it all. I know. Yeah. So you can just do the 142 though. You're getting everything, just not the special fancy. You just have a bunch stuff. of boxes. Yeah. 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 So I don't know. Yeah, I don't that's know. tough. Jerry's out. I really want Dungeon Fighter because I freaking love Dungeon Fighter. It was a lot of fun. We sh I was kind of thinking maybe we just get a group. Everybody gets a different one, and then we yeah. have all access to all of them. Yeah, we could. What are the difference in the boxes, then? There's different monsters. Different monsters, different heroes. Okay. Different, yeah. So they're almost like expansions, but they're like standalone? Sta yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is exactly what it is. Yep. Okay. Nailed it. So uh, who's next? Dan, go ahead, Dan, I'll yours. go. I don't know if it's, I assume this is the Frost the, the, uh, uh, Frost uh, Punk. Frost Punk. Frostpunk. Uh, not on my list. Really? Okay. I, I, I know list. it, and I saw it, and I was excited about it, but okay. I, I figured somebody guys, would yeah. no, somebody uh, cut it. First I didn't of all, write it looks down. cool. First of all, Hello is based off a video game. <laughs> hello. Oh. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> I didn't realize that. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, yeah, pretty well-known video game, like an RTS, you know? Okay. okay. Control your city. That is a real-time strategy. It yeah. Ooh, let's add that to our jargon. So game. Frostpunk, mm -hmm. the board game by Glass Cannon Unplugged, which is interesting because Sniper Elite, the board game, Weren't they made by Rebellion Unplugged? So now every board so game all is just the, Well, it's just the video games are unplugged. unplugging. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just saying there's two different companies. So I guess it's the acoustic just, version. They're just all taking the word unplugged to me. Yeah, that. sure. Why not? Huh. Uh, so one to four <laughs> players, 17 days left with a funding goal of like 250000 and they're well over a million. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. This is it's super no, funny. You could look but at the, the components. The buildings, yeah. They yeah. look at the components super of the cool. game. You knew it was going to fund like yeah. right away. So 89 to $148 October of next year. Not this year. No, maybe. you know. Uh, maybe. Probably not. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say a, a hard maybe on that October of next year, too. So yeah, it's probably closer to December. A couple quick things at first least. just about the Kickstarter itself is if – you back the Kickstarter, you get all your miniatures pre shaded mm -hmm. um, for free. You yeah. just get it if you back it. And there's a free expansion they throw in there. They're also saying they're working towards an app that is supposed to make it to where you can play with other people. Oh. Like, like I could be at my Virtually. house, you could be at your house. Oh, yeah, but we, can we both play need a copy game. of the game. It's, co it's co op, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Full Maybe co op. That plunderous money will go to Yeah, that's one of the things <laughs> that excites me so much about this game. Is not only is it just gorgeous and everything, but it uh, looks like a very difficult co op. Yeah. Nice. And I love that. Yeah. yeah. So let's see. You guys have to work together to manage the infrastructure of your city and the citizens 
Um, and this is the last city on Earth. Bummer. So you're keeping track of your citizens' <laughs> morale and stuff because the game is supposed to be very story driven. So like during the rounds, the citizens react to the decisions you guys are making depending on their like morale. Sounds like Battlestar like Galactica kind of sometimes, right? Dude, there's a lot of stuff in here. So like I literally have there's an exploration mechanic that kind of looks like Hellas to where Lords of Hellas oh, to yeah. where you kind of put your citizen your exploration citizen out there and he like takes turns moving on this card and when he gets to the end you Mm -hmm. flip that card over and that says what you found and what happens and stuff like that there the co-op mechanic it seems to be working like XCOM to where if we get a four player game going we're each like okay you're in in charge charge of of this uh, this, part of the city you're in charge of jobs you're in charge I can't think of what they're all called but that's what it seems to look like which I love I love that kind of thing um man uh the game lasts over 12 days. If you survive all 12 days, you win. That's a long time to play a game. It is. I, mean, <laughs> I, I thought Axe and Allies was bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. It's scenario-based, so you're going to be able to play through the different scenarios and get that. There's a whole weather system that lets you know like when blizzards are coming and when what temperature it's going to be because at night, you got to get your citizens inside houses, and if they don't have houses, they could die and morale will drop. And, oh, my God, let's see. The amazing generator cube tower. It's so oh, yeah. awesome. This giant tower that's straight from the video game in the middle of the city that looks awesome and is, functional. you know, the generator of the city. But, yeah, it's functional. You put your coal, the little coal cubes, into that tower, and the more coal you put in, the more heating and stuff your city gets, but the more likely it is the generator will malfunction because you're overworking it. So when you drop the cubes in, any cubes that come out the bottom – are malfunction cubes then they're not coal anymore and then that obviously changes how the game works and stuff i love there's a lot of games out there now that do it where the cubes get stuck in the tower that mm-hmm. whole mechanic and it changes things edge of darkness do something like that they don't get stuck in the tower but it, divi- it divides them into three it areas. divides so it yep. does a thing mm-hmm. uh so, let's see so dan how much is this game i said dude, it's uh, 89 to 148 dollars What's the difference between the 89 and 148? The 148, <laughs> I see where you're going with this. Huh? Um, so the normal game comes with uh, wooden meeples that are all shaped differently for the different buildings and the people and stuff like that. The $148 one, all miniatures. Everything is replaced. You hear that, Jason? With these you hear that, board game mechanics? Incredible looking miniatures. Yeah, it's yeah. genuinely insane how good these look. I think yeah. the price jump is definitely worth it in this game. All and right. on top of that, you get all the different miniatures and they all come pre-shaded. Right. If you if you back and having the zero artistic talent. That's yeah. Always exactly. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. So I mean, that's basically it. Other than you also have to feed your people, mm-hmm. and and they can get sick, and you have to work on them if they get sick in the cold. And the last thing I'll say about Frostpunk the board game is you can currently play it on Tabletop Simulator. Oh, yeah. very cool. Yeah. yeah. Right on. So yeah, I'm. This is the only Kickstarter I brought today because I wanted to go really in depth with just how incredible this game looks. The the idea of the 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 board and you're putting the hex tiles out yeah, and building the city looks, and stuff. It oh. looks fantastic. Yeah. I agree. So good. I agree. All right, Bobby, what you All right. So here's a little quick one. Yeah. And this is for you guys because I know Boring. how much you love rolling rights. Uh oh. Oh boy. But cartographers. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. No, I'm in. That's what I like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm in. Uh <laughs> Yeah, so Cartographer's Heroes, um, it's a standalone, or you can use it combined. Uh-huh. Um, it comes with, uh, yeah, there's a three-map pack that it comes with, um, four new different monsters that you can put in. There's hero cards, which will have abilities when they get flipped nice. over. And, uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's, it's Cartographer's, the same man. kind of game. It's yeah, but just a little bit more. Cartographer's is so good, it makes me want to play role player. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, Because I know I it's that. in the same universe. It. Okay. You know, I'm just talking about role player right now, huh? Yeah. Okay. I'm just saying. I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm going to talk about one we talk about all the time, but I don't care. I love it. And I, uh, it is like 60-something percent funded as of filming of this. Mini Steel. Of course. Ooh, yeah. Mini Steel. The uh, people at uh, Greenmore Games have been really awesome to us. They've, mm-hmm. been, they've said very nice things about us. And while that may be unwarranted, our compliments about their game <laughs> are totally are worth are totally warranted. A lot of game in that a little A lot box. of game in a little cube, and it's only $16. Yeah. Super cheap. Sixteen dollars to steal two to four players a mini steal. Yeah, yeah. But uh, even us skeptics, right? You yeah. get this tiny box and you're like, eh, I don't know." Uh-huh. And we started playing it, and we just had a really good time. Yeah. Yep. And uh, yeah, it is a really good game. Please look at it. It's, yeah, we literally it's really have good. had uh, nothing but good things to say about it. We actually have a little Kickstarter preview that you can check out to see how the game looks and everything. And yep. yeah, we we really enjoy that. It's game. it's so much fun. It is so much fun. Uh, Bobby, you got another one? Oh uh, yeah, I got, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got two more. Me too. So this one, I kind of teased Tim a lot about it a little bit. 
I think it's kind of right up his alley. But I have no idea which one you're talking about. You have no idea. Uh Uh-uh. Well, I'm sure you get these emails because it was from Colossal Games. Oh, yeah. I haven't talked about this yet. B-movies. Yes. Yes. Oh, I got some news about this. Oh, yeah? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Go ahead first. Uh, Yeah, so it's coming October 26th, three to six players. Uh Uh Uh-huh. And you're trying to direct a 1950s classic sci-fi or horror film. Uh I'm voting on the the best one. Uh I know Tim loves crappy movies. I do. And I do. Yeah. Even, like, the the box looks like a VHS tape, right? Uh Uh-huh. And, yeah. You're going to love this. Okay. October 23rd. Uh Uh-huh. We're going somewhere together. Oh? And have we might get to play a prototype nice. of this game. Yes. Julia Khan for the win. High five. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting to tell you. Nice. I was going to surprise you That's with That's great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are the basic mechanics? How are you? Shut up. Yeah, we're not worried about that. <laughs> 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 well, sorry. I just wasn't invited on this thing on the 23rd, so I thought I might ask some questions. Uh, we'll have more anyways. answers for you <laughs> right. in a couple weeks. Yeah. Okay, so you yeah. genuinely no, this don't is, know? It's not on Kickstarter it's yet. It's not on Kickstarter yet. Yeah, it's just coming. an email saying that it's coming. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep, so. but we're excited. Yep, we're excited. Oh, Sounds cool. And we are probably there's a good chance we're going to get a sneak peek at it. Nice. Yeah, we'll let you know. Yep. Bring your little. Uh, sorry, GoPro. Dan. It was like a friends yeah. and family thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> uh, my my. Uh, I'm not next... mad. <laughs> 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 my next one, the thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's the what is it? I Pendragon? thought about mentioning this again. Pendragon yeah, Games. Uh, it's the same people that did Stay Away. Yep. Um, one to eight players. So I thought the one was very interesting that the potential for a solo mode. mode mm-hmm. uh, you're just it, a thing and you're just going around infecting yeah, everybody. Yeah, well, the everything. one, two, and three player version doesn't actually exist yet, I believe, right? Mm-hmm. It's four to eight right now, but they said by the time the Kickstarter is done, we'll have a one yes. to three player version. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but it's $94. Mm-hmm. It looks really interesting. I am a, this is one of my favorite They're movies IPs, of all time. Yeah. So, like, any good game off of this IP. Right. And it looks like a weird combination between uh, Infection at Outpost 31 and Who Goes There. It mm-hmm. looks like they've combined both. And I think both games have a, some Lots strength. Offer. Yeah. Uh, even though I think Infection is way better than Who Goes There personally. But Who Goes There has some really great components. Um, so anyways, eh, keep an eye on it. It's only got a couple days left. It looks really good. Yeah. It does. I might have to back it. Yeah. It's really just kind of salty at $94. Yeah. Really hope you, should, you do. You should. I might even help you pay for it if you're that upset about it, because I, I really want it, but I can't do $94. Right. <laughs> I'm damned. <laughs> yeah, but you're also, you also dropped some money on uh, Nemesis, and I'm going yeah. I'm gonna mooch off your Nemesis lockdown. Yeah. So. Nemesis, dude. yeah, I didn't get locked down. I just had the original Nemesis. I didn't get the new one. I'm the only one that yes. will have locked down? Well, you, it's Spencer. Spencer. We don't talk about Spencer. Yeah, that's right. He's not here, so he doesn't. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Uh, you got another one? I have I have one more that I'm excited about. Yeah. Um, you got any you're not excited about you want to talk about? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> not <laughs> no. <excited> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, campaign trail. Oh, yeah? Yes. Yeah. So oh, I got yeah. I got an email, Gray Fox Games. Uh-huh. Um, uh, it's the reprinting. I was talking about how the old one's hard to get. It's been out of print for a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tim's talked about this a lot. I haven't had a chance to play it yet. That's a different one. The campaign trail? Campaign manager is what I've got. Oh, campaign trail is a completely different game. I thought that was the same game. Uh-uh. Okay, so yeah, campaign trail, and it's got the green party expansion, mm-hmm. which sounds kind of funny. Yeah, um, yeah. But it does look, no, I was excited about yeah, this. Yeah, uh, it's going to be on Kickstarter. It says sometime in October, so keep your eyes yeah, peeled we're, for we're that close. coming out. But uh, it looks like it's going to be interesting. Right and on then, the same lines. Yeah. Well, going on that line of thought, there was, I don't know anything about it, but I'm just going to mention theme-wise, I did see a game on Kickstarter that I didn't look too in-depth on, that the the Abraham Lincoln thing, I'm sure it's not on your list, uh-uh. but it, it's like, it's called like the Trial of the Assassination of Abraham Lincoln or something like that. Or, okay. But so it's a two-player game and mm-hmm. you're playing the prosecution attorney uh, and the, and the defense attorney. Oddly mm-hmm. like hitting at an interesting time exactly. for us, right? Um, mm-hmm. Yes, little tease conversations we're having here. But uh, yeah, and so you're, you're playing this game to... Like convince Litigate, the jury, right. you know, both ways and and stuff. And I was like, this is really that sounds, interesting. I know, that I sounds like, fun. It yeah. looked really interesting. And then you've got to be the jerk that tries to justify the assassination. I know of you one have of to the try to, presidents yeah. of the arc. I can't remember mm-hmm. who's. It's some. I don't know all their names. It's like Maria is the one that you're on, is on trial that you're defending and prosecuting. It's like one of the group members. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, so last one I'll talk about just sure. real quick. Regency. Yeah. Uh-huh. Regency. It's got uh, some time left. It's about halfway funded, I think. It's $29. It is a solid, sort of historically based set collection game. Mm -hmm. Uh, We've been lucky enough to get to play a demo, you know, have some input on, you know, on some of the cards and maybe how some of the things should work. I think it's a good game. I think that for 
for the price point and for what it offers, I think it is it, it is unique enough. Mm-hmm. It does its own thing. I would check out Regency. I like it. By Peak Games. Yeah, I like it quite a bit. I like simple uh, set collection games. And this one is a nice, uh, not as simple as some of the other ones. Because, right. you know, you've got that card play in there. But There's mm-hmm. a lot of strategy, but it's easy to teach. Yeah, and the sure. cards make sense. And what you're doing. It's just get all six people. Yeah. Right. You know, like it's 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 a simple It sounds easy, game. but it's, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, the end goal is very simple yeah. to explain. And, uh, yeah. So, Dan, I forgot I should have done this in news, but Uh-oh. I got something. And I needed to do more research, and I didn't get a chance to. Uh oh. There is talk uh-huh. of a Battlestar Galactica reboot of the show, the game. Okay, but I, see, someone mentioned that. That was me. Oh, it was you at like two thirty okay. in the morning on see, Thursday. I don't remember because it was two thirty in the morning. I was like, someone mentioned that, and I had no idea what they were talking about. But what about. they're gonna do, the the, the the what I think they're gonna do though, is uh-huh. they're gonna retheme it. They've so been it's not s- Battlestar. People have been saying that for a long time. Right. But they're going to do it like Arkham Horror. So oh. think of like Betrayal House on the Hill meets okay. uh, Battlestar. Battlestar Galactica. So like somebody is like that secret traitor right. and subverting mm-hmm. like as you're investigating things okay. and doing things and you don't want to figure it out. I, I don't know. Just stay tuned, man. Yeah. Stay tuned. So that could be amazing. That could be very amazing. That sounds really good. A little thought that I had. We're yeah. talking about Arkham uh, horror games earlier yes. and stuff like that. That would be a cool mechanic to where if you're exploring and you're going through the deck, but then you find a madness card, you know, and like as the cards you find, you keep, yeah, you keep but it you secret. don't and tell people. Yeah, and then you kind of become like the hidden trader thing, and you're right. trying to yeah, just, or idea. you or yeah. you like making it so other people get them by stacking the deck in yeah. a certain way, like yeah. a like a growl kind of thing. Yeah, kind yeah, of. Yeah. Except yeah. instead of visibly giving sure. it to them, it's secretly. Yeah. Like, draw a card, and like, all right, now put any one card back on top right. of your deck. Pin that, and let's yeah. just make a game. Uh, yeah. <laughs> right now. Dan, Dan and I are all over this. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, so we're going to go into the top five then, top right? Top five. Oh, yeah. All right. It's, uh, we've been kind of going negative lately, so let's just keep in the spirit of that. <laughs> um, so we've got – this was Jeff's recommendation. Yep. Yeah, which is sad that he couldn't he's, make it today. He, he's so negative. <laughs> oh, yeah, that you killed him. Yeah. Uh, so – Top five games uh, with terrible art. Yeah. Yeah. And these games don't even have to be good games or games yeah. you like. Um, I'll say, though. Well, they could be. Oh, I picked a game that Not I hate. all of mine oh, are good. <laughs> I, I picked a game that I hate. There's a couple I games hate here that I haven't played yet, but yeah, I, I have it at haven't home. Haven't played yet because of the art, maybe? It could be. Um, I, I looked at it, and then I was like, ah, that is just really ugly. <laughs> <Not Right. laughs> you got to stop putting pictures of me on yeah, your games because exactly. it's going to make you not want to play over five. Okay. Yeah. Ugly. <laughs> they all say Tim. I don't know. <laughs> it's fair. Tracks. All right. Okay, Tim, uh, start us off. Sure. Uh, a game I hate. My number five, The Resistance. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. The art? I don't like the art. Yeah. I don't like the gameplay. Yeah. I don't like the box cover. I like the I art like... of the people. I don't like that they're just slapped on like a blue or red background. That's just ugly. But... I find the aesthetic of that game yeah. ugly and so, so, So really your number five is Koo. Yep. Resistance, yep. One Night Revolution, yep. <laughs> any of those games that use the exact same art yep. style. Don't like that art style <laughs> at all. Yeah. At all. Not interested. I started realizing there's a little bit of a trend in mine, too. Yeah. I was picking them out. Yeah. Kind of like the same uh, producers or whatever. I was like, man, they oh, it's really? the same artist that works for oh, the company sure. just doesn't do a good job. Sure. <laughs> I just don't care for his style. I only wrote down the information on one of the games because I think it's hilarious. All right. <laughs> so who's going next? Go ahead. Go ahead. <sighs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to get my number five out of the way. Yeah. It is ugly to me. Oh, wait, should we explain how you play Resistance, I guess? What do you yeah. mean? Like, I mean, if we're going to talk about the oh, game. Oh, like literally? We can. We don't usually, but I'm down okay. with it. No, that's fine. I mean, it is basically a hidden trader game, and you're yes. assigning roles. Yep. And Like an Avalon or something like that. Right. And it's it's they tried to make, like, they tried to be clever and, like, do a clever version of Werewolf, but I just find that uh, the game played uninteresting uh you're assigning tasks oh i I think bob's a traitor so don't bring him that's like okay fine Mm -hmm. after a while it gets old because if they think you're a traitor they just isolate you and you basically do nothing the whole game yeah i agree that i feel like poopy i've only played it a couple times because it's one of Catherine's favorite games and i just i do feel like it falls flat a lot of the time um and we talked about recently on the growl review um, that I feel like Growl does a similar thing as Resistance, but better in most ways. Like, mm. I did oh, because I enjoy way. Growl and <laughs> well, the art is good. Yeah, yeah. sure, better yeah. in most ways. You are <laughs> There's just something about it. <laughs> it, it. It has that You've feeling it. that Resistance is trying to give off, but in a much more social, fun way. Yeah. Instead of, I don't know, Resistance is like. I, don't I will talk say to you. I don't Done. love. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't love Coup, but at least Coup 
Everybody's got Koo different ro- uh, roles. Well, you can have whatever role you want in Coup. Yeah. <laughs> That's the nice thing. Yeah, but I would this rather turn, play, I'm this. <laughs> I would rather play Masquerade. I think Masquerade is a much better Masquerade version once. of yeah. Coup. But anyways, sorry. Please uh, go on. Oh yeah, I never even said it. Yeah, your top wow. five. What a okay, Bob. So what's yeah. your top five? What a, <laughs> so, what a dragged out number five. Dinosaur Island. Mm. I hate the art. Not surprised. Yeah, I I put it as number five because I understand that it is not technically bad art. It is just I hate it. Listen, we're gonna, <laughs> so. Jason is going to unsubscribe to this show. Good. We're going to lose a friend. Good. Uh, Don't do it. Well, do we it. Hit number hundred again. Do it to make a point, but then like resubscribe. Yeah, like right <laughs> yeah, away. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So Dinosaur Island. Uh, here I wrote down. A one to four player worker placement game. I have that written down for all of them. Yeah, I mean, Dinosaur Island is is essentially that uh, uh, sort of is it engine buildy kind of. The uh, nice thing really. about Dinosaur Island though is they break it down into phases. There's the I dice mean, drafting. Super easy. Yeah. It's kind we of. We can't a, listen to your opinion because like everything is dual layered, so we can't. Yeah, listen everything to is. Dual I'm already biased. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, and the yeah. art is really good, and actually the layout and everything of the of your player boards are. Fantastic. Yeah, if it just had like not good art, it has great art. art of just like oh, I ate a art. bunch of unicorns. So for puked. number five, yeah, <laughs> let's move on from this wrong person. Uh, so it's kind of like a little bit of a tie, okay, ish. <sighs> Feudum. Oh sure, I love the Feudum artwork. Do I you? Love it. Yeah, he it said just, that before. It just seems. I love how much. quirky it is. It is sure quirky. Okay, we're gonna. <laughs> that's the word we're gonna use now. <laughs> oh, what was the What was the tie? Uh, oh, is it your next one? No. Okay. Uh, like Ascension. I wasn't sure. I wanted to have him. I love I the Ascension. Some artwork of the as well. artwork Ascension is very good. Uh-huh. Some of the Ascension artwork is total trash. <laughs> I just don't like it. I'm not a fan of it. That's fair. Yeah. Because there's different that. styles. They have different people doing different yeah. styles, and some of it I just don't care for. Some of it's super cool. I mean, it's kind of like, like it. Magic: The Gathering, right? Yes. Where you've got yeah, different artists, different styles. Yeah. There's some, some of the artists in Magic where you're like, and then you have like I did the drawing. It's like a stick figure. Yeah. You know. Yeah. You gave them a box of crayons, and they're like trying to do their best uh, Monet impression. I get it. Yeah. I get it. So I I love the feudal. I wasn't artwork. sure which one I wanted to put. The on. The feudal artwork they made a choice. They did, and they, and they ran went with it. full tilt. They did. <laughs> they did. Yeah, I it like was a it. bit too much tilt. I, I like it, but I'm that's sorry. me. All oh, right, is my number four? <laughs> so my number four, it's just so <laughs> dry. Okay. <laughs> Whistle stop. Oh, I've uh, never seen it. Yeah. It's just very dry. Yeah. I. I haven't played it. My wife's played it. She likes it a lot. Try, yeah. Uh, but the artwork, I j- I haven't even haven't played it because the artwork. I mean, it's just so white and like glaring. So we don't like you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. So pale. So pale. So pale. No, I don't know. It could be an amazing game. Yeah. It. I mean, it seems to be and a popular game. Again, my wife too. likes it. I. I. You know, Feudum is super crunchy. Like in yeah. these games, like I don't necessarily not like the game itself. Sure. It's just don't care for the art style. But the art style for Whistle Stop. Uh, just really puts puts, puts me a damper on it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a train game. Train game. I yeah. haven't played it, so I can't Pence explain how it works. Stop. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Smarty pants. My number what, four. What is game the, are you wrong about next? My yeah. number four is the least controversial game ever because I don't think there's a single person on the planet that likes the art of this game. Oh, oh, um, I'm gonna ready to raise my I hand. I would bet the artist doesn't like the art I'm of this game. I'm ready to raise my hand because if it's the one I think it is, I no, do like the art. No, it's Legendary Encounters, a Firefly. Oh, game. oh no, you stole my name. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was my. That's my I next one. I haven't seen the first. That's my next so one. It's terrible. It's it? terrible. It's terrible. It's, oh, it's terrible. I, I haven't even been able to play the game yet because it, like, <laughs> because <laughs> it either it either people don't aren't in Firefly or the people aren't in Firefly <laughs> are like. Yeah, but like it's idiots. <laughs> like, Dan, any people not interested in Firefly in your life, just cut them away. Okay, yeah. cut them Bob, away. Could you really quick it. just say I'm not interested in Firefly really quick? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's unrelated. You are 100 <laughs> percent correct. Yeah. So, uh, Legendary Encounters is basically like a system that they mm-hmm. use correct. to implement a whole bunch of different IPs. Mm-hmm. The Firefly one, for whatever reason, one of the most popular IPs that they could pick. Yep. They did not pay for good artwork. Yeah. I apologize. It is to very that artist. clearly multiple people, right? Because there are cars that look nothing like each other. Yeah. Like, so it's either multiple people or the one guy was like, you know what? I was inspired by a different artist today and I will draw something completely different. <laughs> That'd be kind of neat like, to be an artist that has like different personalities and then you oh like, wake goodness. up and you're like painting like all these crazy different types but, of things. But yeah, it I looks mean, bad. it looks bad. Yeah. I'm sure the editor has already popped up some pictures on the screen of it's, it's horrible. It's bad. It's horrible. It's, it's like, bad. like, cause it has the same basic art idea as the other legendary encounter yep. games. Like you look at like the alien game it has that kind of artwork. And then someone's just like, <laughs> like with like dirt. <laughs> like it doesn't yeah. make any but sense. But the alien artwork is really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. 
so I'm gonna change my number three when we get to it. Since, oh, okay. okay. Since uh, it's been so yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, Legendary Sully. Encounters: A Firefly game is a uh, one to five player deck building game that came out in 2016. And the Legendary Thanks, Encounters yeah. games, as a rule, I enjoy them. I yes. I have yet to play I, one I don't like. I don't like the setup and breakdown of those. So fiddly. You, and the font yes. is so small. You can, oh, yes, you can mitigate is. that with some good organization, but the yeah. setup and breakdown is still pretty brutal. Yep. and limits the amount of times I would play it. Yeah, I agree. Yep. Okay, another one of the reasons I've been able to play it. Yet. Since no we all one, agree, uh, we can move on. Yep. yep. Uh, my number four. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I really enjoy this game. Uh huh. Um, it's actually part of our roulette. Okay. Uh, okay. Coimbra. Oh, you don't like the art for Coimbra? I'm not a fan of that I art. I enjoy those vibrant colors on that. And I mean, I enjoy vibrant colors too, but I'm just, I oh, don't wait, know. Oh, you're colorblind. Sorry. <laughs> 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 I, wait, I at least enjoy. you have an excuse. Dan doesn't have an excuse for not liking Dinosaur Island. I, you have an excuse. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. The colorblind guy saying, I enjoy vibrant colors too. That's <laughs> so mean. I've been Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I've been Dan. <laughs> Off the rails, people. I can't Off believe you did that. That's so funny. So, Tim, which one for your number four? Oh, come on, Bobby. Come on. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, I actually haven't no, seen Cornbread set up. What, okay. What? It's Well, if you just look at the box, like, I don't know, okay. just uh, kind of like the... Not the really child, the aesthetic. Child, yeah, just the aesthetic of it. I'm just, sure. just not a big fan they of it. They made a choice. Yeah. And, and like, it's, yeah, they, they took a choice. They went in that direction. It's kind of like the Dinosaur Island thing. They went with like, that 90s Yeah, sure. Thing. They went with, like, I don't know what kind of a theme you call <laughs> they, that. I, don't, theme. I do find that, the, <laughs> if I remember correctly, it's been uh, a little while since I've seen the board, but I did find the board a bit busy. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Because you're, you're kind of kinda like moving around, like, right? You're moving around. There is some, yes. To, and there's dice drafting and stuff. But the sure, cards, sure, sure. like the people, the, like, you know, yeah, like, I'm, not a, I'm not a fan of They're not amazing. Yeah. But I did like the colors, you know, and stuff that they used. Sorry, Tim. Let's talk some more I about know. the colors. I know. I'm just going to dig that hole a little deeper. All righty. You taking the dig action? Yeah. Taking the dig action. <laughs> yeah. All right. So <laughs> my number three, we're going to stay in the same universe ish. Okay. Uh, so Marvel Legendary. Uh huh. Has several oh, sets. Yeah. Mm. Uh, my least favorite set art-wise, though, is the Guardians of the Galaxy one. Okay. It's just... It's just not great. It's <laughs> that sums it up. But, yeah, yeah. But it's just it, not great. Actually, honestly... Right, Dan, so what do you got for you? <laughs> uh, Dan, it's the, the same problem. Sure. Same problem That's you Firefly. have with Firefly, right? You've got some cards with like Groot and Rocket and Gamora, and they look... Really nice, mm -hmm. like really well defined lines, like look really good. And then you've got like in the same set, these weird, almost cartoony, I don't know, just not good mm -hmm. versions, uh, you know, and they're different cards. They do different things, but like, it's like, I've got these really good cards and I don't even want to buy the ugly cards, even if they're well, useful. Well, at least the Guardians of the Galaxy game has some really good cards. Yeah, I'll give you that. <laughs> it's got I'll some that. good Firefly, art. there are cards that as someone who has seen the show and movie, um, a billion gajillion times, uh -huh. there are cards I don't know who it is. I'm like, is that is that Malcolm? Is wow. that? Yeah, like, they're bad. Who that is bad. this? It's it, bad. Yeah, it's, yeah. Um, it's bad. I'm glad I haven't seen it. It's bad. Me. Yeah, you. yeah sure. Is it me? Sure. I was just saying me. Okay. Yeah, uh, so this one, um, yeah, this one's interesting. I, I have it on this list because the art is the only bad thing about the game. Okay. And I just really wish they would remake this game because it's incredible for how old it is. And it's directly behind Bob. Imperial Satellite? Puerto Rico. Por Puerto, Puerto Rico. Rico. Puerto, Rico. Um, Puerto Rico is an incredible game. Like that game holds up like no other game I've ever played before. For it is how, a building block, right? Is, I yeah. mean, it is a game that um, they have. Yeah, and is. you see that cover on the shelf, and you're like, "Is that a puzzle?" Yeah. <laughs> like it looks, it looks like, like a picture. <laughs> it's, yeah. I mean, come on, Rio Grande. I, mean, I know they do that a lot, and I don't like box. it. I don't like those box covers. Or, they they all do mm -hmm. that thing. And they, Rio Grande. I mean, and it also has the same looking kind of idea. You know, twenty years old. I guess, you know exactly. That's what I'm saying. Boy, does this game need a modernized remake. The yeah, game is so yeah. good. It would sell, man. Just I'm telling it, you. And it it's up, just the art and components, which doesn't go into the art. And the tiles still. are fine, but yeah, you just just don't do a Coliseum. Sure. Yeah. 
The thing you're thinking you're mistaken with uh, Orleans, though, is it's it's like that um, medieval art. No, but Orleans is completely different. Yeah, it's Orleans. I was just saying Orleans did the same idea where it's just like a boring picture on a tan background, and I just oh, a lot okay. of games do that. Yeah. That I like uh, from that. But I was gonna say, time. but Orleans, yeah, I mean, it looks sure. like art from the time period. Sure, correct. Yeah, Puerto Rico. I'm serious. Just that looks, looks like. like I have, a, I have a shelf of like old puzzles at home, and yeah. I could put that on the yeah. shelf and it on the right shelf in. and people <laughs> would believe it. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. Puerto Rico, man, it's such a good game. It's Please, if you haven't game. played it, play it. Great and game. And the art is not like it doesn't distract you while you're playing right. it, but you're you are like that's the weakest part of the game. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, yeah. easily. Uh, Puerto Rico uh, is a three to five player city building game. Yeah. Right. I like it. Thanks, Released man. in two thousand two. So number three, <laughs> Caverna. You don't like the art, art for Caverna? I, I, I saw don't. someone else talk about this. I, I love the art for I Caverna. I like the art for Caverna and Agricola, even though I don't like Agricola. Yeah. It, the I, art is good. Not a fan. Yeah. Anything else? Anything? I, I like the game. It's it's a crunchy, right? Euro. I, yeah. like, I like crunchy Euros. It's a much, much better version of Agricola. It is. Sure. In um, my opinion. Yeah. yeah Misery I, Farm I versus it. Misery Cave. Yep. And like in like the, the farm part, right? And the trees and all that. That art is fine. But like the box art, not a fan yeah. of that style. Okay. Yeah, sure. I mean, the box art does a similar kind of thing, yeah. which is a so- solid color background. Yep. With a and it doesn't really take it. away from the game because sure. you're dealing more with like the bits than you are the art. Mm-hmm. Right. But right. yeah, just not big on it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I disagree. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, my number two, I could like cut in half because a lot of people haven't necessarily seen the art for this game because it's old and out of print. Okay. Glory to Rome. Not oh, the yeah. black box edition. I saw a lot of. Uh, not the black hey, box. Like, I've got the clamshell mm-hmm. uh, version of Glory of the Rome, and the art is just terrible. And what does that translate to exactly? Bad. S- bad. Oh, just bad. <laughs> just bad. I feel like now, you could have just said bad. It's shorter. I haven't, faster. <laughs> I haven't seen the, uh, but it didn't convey that. That's right. Sure. Yeah, that's right. It didn't convey sure. the feeling. The certain, I haven't I seen what, what the black box, <laughs> the black box art looks like. I should actually ask my sister to crack hers open because yeah. she's got it. Um, but I hear that that art is great. It's better. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. Glory to Rome. Okay. It is a uh, set collection. Like I know the cards have multiple things. Yeah, engine I've never buildy played, I've never played it. Kind of thing. I've I haven't played it. I've owned this game for like six years. I haven't played it because I was told have someone teach it to you mm-hmm. because it's a lot to learn. Yeah. Uh, and I haven't had anybody teach it to me. Yeah. I might just watch a video. Okay. Or maybe we can learn it. Uh, we just when learn we it. go to our special yeah. event with friends and family. Friends and family. Mm-hmm. My number two. <laughs> um, my number two is the one on the list. Well, I guess Dinosaur Island, but the one on the list that people might hate on me for. That's fine. I played this game a really long time ago. Never really liked it. Looked at it again and again and again. And I think it's ugly. And this game uh, also suffers from a thing where a second game came out that is the same game but rethemed and has good art. And that's Terra Mystica. From 2012. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of ugly. Um, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of that art. Yeah, here. two to five player Civ game. It's kind of ugly. This is ugly. It is like, ugly. The, the box art actually uh, is a little deceiving. And I think yeah. that the races all look really good. And then you get everything else yeah. out and you're like, like oh. Ew. Yeah, that player board with that, like, the, the energy those system colors, with those yeah. weird, wavy, purpley color yep, things. Was, yeah. Yeah. They're ugly, man. They're really ugly. But again, going on what you said earlier, they. Like it was very intentionally chosen. Everything in that game makes sense in that universe. The the color combination stuff all makes sense. I just hate it. And Gaia Project is a good looking game. Yeah. <laughs> so and I think it's a much better game. And Bob prefers Gaia Project. I too. prefer it, but I I haven't played Terra Mystica forever. Sure. So oh, um, I haven't played it. Oh okay. Yeah. So Terra Mystica, you know, you just look at that board and it's just it's boring. But like the problem is it's boring, but then like not drab. It's boring in this like punch you in the eye sockets way that I just really hate. Sure. So, yeah. All right. That's all I got. All right, uh, Bombi, your number uh, two. My number two. Uh, nobody's probably really heard of this game. Uh, Newsfjord. Nope. Oh yeah, I know it. Yeah. Do you? I haven't played it. I know what okay. it is. Yeah. Um, but it's it's kind of like the same thing as Caverna, and I was this mm-hmm. is where I started to realize because I almost put Settlers on here too. Oh, OG sure. Settlers, but they're all Mayday games, mm-hmm. and like. I enjoy it. It's a it's a euro, mm-hmm. right? But like you look at the artwork of the guy on the side yeah, of the, the box, and he's just isn't the cover like a dock or something? Yes, but the, no, on the side of the box. Yeah, sure. Of, I was just making sure I did this stuff. But yeah, because it's about a, a fishing village, and yeah. you're, it's literally what you're doing. Um, but just 
I don't know if it's the same artist that does all of Mayday's sure, artwork or sure. something like that. I don't know if it's like the colored pencils. Agricola and Caverna look like they have the same artist. And I would have yeah, to. and it's just it was the same kind of thing. Because like, I went upstairs and I was kind of like, okay, let me look at my games and see which ones I. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's ugly. <laughs> what, do I, what do I hate? You know? Yeah. What do I hate? And that was one of them. All right. So, yeah. so my number one. So I was torn between two, and I picked the one that I played and like. The other one I have not played, and it's mostly because of I've gone to almost buy this game a couple times, and I look at the box, and I look at the back of the box where you see the components. I'm like, okay. I don't know. Not, not sold on the art, but the theme of the game seems like something I would really like. That's not the one I'm using. So the one I'm not using is <laughs> Dominant Species, which I know I you have. I almost feelings. brought that up saw, because it is very ugly. Because yeah. uh, it looks ugly. Yeah. So I, but, so I picked a game that I do like. Uh, that I think is ugly, and I've seen people like customize and make really beautiful versions of Catan. Oh, okay. Catan's kind of ugly. It is. There's sure, it has the same <laughs> idea as the uh, Terra Mystica, <laughs> where yeah. it has the like ugly hex color pop. And thing. there's other versions, right, that are just so much better looking, right? Starfarers oh. looks great. Even the Game of Thrones Catan looks really good. I, I almost like put it. that on there, though, because... Some of it is okay, but like I was looking at the rule book and it was showing some of like the Knights Watchmen, and I was like, I could almost draw a face better than oh, uh, well, that yeah. face. And I am not a good artist. But the cards, I like the cards. I think the tiles look better mm -hmm. in the Game of Thrones version. Yeah. Uh, you've got like and all the forest the, with the, all the wild things. And the map, you've yeah, got yeah, like that parts it, much it better. It adds a lot to it, it, right? And just regular Catan is just ugly. And yeah. I get it, it's old. It just needed to be functional. Yep. Now we are in an era where art really does matter, yeah. right? Um, so, yeah, Catan, because yeah. it's a game that I do like and I, yeah. I will play. I just don't think it looks and That was your number one, very right? Very pretty. That was my number one. Yep. Okay. I'm surprised. This one might fall under the category of mass market game. Oh, Deno gets me hated on for boy. this. We already hate you, Yeah, oh, I know. <laughs> uh, but the thing is, I don't think it is a mass market game because it sells in game stores, and I've never actually seen it in yeah. the things, but it looks like it. It sh like it's like a cluey type of game, so I don't know if you guys have heard of Suspicion. Sounds suspicious, but okay. Yeah, you so sound sus. So it's called right Suspicion. Hey, that's sus. funny. So it's called Suspicion, and it's cluish, right? You're trying to figure out the person, and yeah. you know you're all against each other, kind of thing. So the thing with this, so the box and the board look the same, and it's hideous. So I don't know. Maybe you'll like it because it's like old man, but uh, it's so it's like black and white art. Okay, uh -huh. and it's like the classic old like cartoon with like the really pointy faced people, like the side view of like the guy with the robbery mask on, like mm -hmm. eh, you know, like that kind of art. Mm -hmm. And so the board, I I don't know how to describe this. It's a black and white in interior building with colored gems on the floor, and on your turn you're moving around and like where you land, you get those gems, and then you turn those gems in for something that I don't remember because I I d did not like this game, um and and. There's something that has to do with line of sight. Like when you move into a room, people that are within your line of sight, you can like interact with or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, the thing with this game is, so it's it's just this hideous, boring, black and white nonsense. Like they did not try. And maybe it's on theme, but to me it's horrible. But the thing that, so this is the one I actually wrote down some information on. It doesn't on sound bad to me at all. Like I feel like the colors provide contrast and make the game interesting. That's fine. It's horrible. Okay. Uh, it's sitting on my game shelf at home. Come over and I'll show you <laughs> how bad it looks. Um, so the designer is Forrest. I don't know how to say this. Prusan Creative. I don't know how to say that. They made Hogwarts Battle. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, and they made a couple other things, you know. Um, and Prospero Hall. Hey, they're oh, yeah, like Prospero super Hall. famous. They they're, made Horrified. They're borderline mass market. Yeah, they made. <laughs> yeah, I know. But Villainous is not a mass market game, even though it kind of is. What? Um, kind of is. What I'm saying, though, is like. It's in like actual people's collections though too. Sure, you know what I'm saying, but actual it is like people. you can get it at Walmart because it's yeah. Disney. Um, right. So Prosper Hall though, horrified villainous. The publisher is Wonderforge, which made some stuff, and ArcLight, who made TI4, Scythe, Brass, yeah. you know, all those games. And the artist is not applicable. <laughs> That's hilarious to me. Because <laughs> there wasn't an. <laughs> yeah, it's what it seems like. So that right there is the sign to me. That there, there's something up with this game's art to where there's no one who designed the art for this game. So do you like the game? Uh, no. It's just a bad clue. 
Yeah. My okay. it, my friend, it's my friend's copy because he basically any game that's like Clue, he'll buy. He loves Clue. Okay. Um, and he likes that kind of thing. And so he played us. He played that with us. And like, I didn't like tell him I hated or anything, but I was like, it's fine. It's kind of boring. You know, it's whatever. I've played it a couple times since then, and every time it's just a letdown to me. So yes, I don't like the game. But overall, it's just the box is this boring white and black box. that's suspicion with like green letters on it or something. Okay. And I don't so know. why is it still in your house? It's his, and he keeps all his games at my house. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, just asking. Yeah, all right. But uh, suspicion. The pictures will pop up, and you'll be like, "That is boring." Or you'll be like Tim, and be like, "That's what games looked like when I was a kid." In my day. I like that, to make fun of Tim for being the old guy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Mom's older than me. <laughs> I know. But it's not like if it was put out by Prospero Hall. Prospero Hall is not that old of a company. Huh? No, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good point. I wrote it down. That's what blew my mind. I thought this was like a Milton Bradley game from the 70s. Yeah. 2016. Yeah, so wow. calm down. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying, though. <laughs> it, it'd be an excuse if it was it looks made back like, then. Yeah. Like, I'm expecting to see the blue M red B on the side yeah, of this yeah, yeah. box, and no. <laughs> no. Four freaking years ago? Crazy. That's one of the other things that makes me hate the art so much, is because in this day and age, yeah. you could do so much better than that. You had a chance. That. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't have an opportunity back then. But that's it. Suspicion. All right. Huh? I was surprised Bring that home, Tim Bobby. didn't have this on his list. I might have thought about it. Coliseum. Yeah. Yeah. I thought about it. Yeah. I left it off because I haven't played it. Yeah. I haven't played mine either. Okay. Because it's ugly. Fair. Yeah. It is ugly. Mm -hmm. It is ugly. So I assume you have the newer Coliseum. I do. We both have the newer Coliseum. Yep. My sister has the OG Coliseum. She does. And... It does look pretty. Like the OG. Yeah. The, I mean, the original one looks like actual, like, Roman era art. Okay. Right? You know, like Roman Empire. Like theme. Like, uh, on theme. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, like Downfall of Pompeii, right? Yeah. It has art that makes sense for yeah. its time. Yeah. You know, kind true. Of thing. But that is a game that would also benefit from a nice upgrade. Oh, yeah. It would. Mm -hmm. It would. But Downfall is so good, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It is good. That's what I'm saying, though. Same thing with Puerto Rico. Is but, I think if they did remake it, it'd sell like crazy. To but them. we've got Coliseum on the roulette because we want to play it. We, we, it gives us an excuse to play it because if it comes up, then it's like, well, we got to play, play it. it. So <laughs> Love it. I get it. I get it. I really was tempted. And put it, it on there. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I left it off because I talked about it before. And uh, so I was going to put Cthulhu Wars on there just because the maps are so ugly. The maps are ugly. But, but the rest of the artwork is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and just to watch Tim's like, I know. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, well, how dare you? Good times. Good how times. Dare you. But what games are ugly to you? Yeah. That's Not Dinosaur question. Island, Dan. Hopefully you have good taste and Dinosaur Island is an ugly game. <laughs> and I think the only one I think that Bob was like maybe kind of wrong about is I think that Coimbra is kind of pretty. Oh, sure. But I the board like is kind of busy and hard. I've never seen the. I like the box of Coimbra. I found the board. Yeah, a little, oh, no, no, no. I take it back. Feudum. Feudum's the one you're wrong about. I, I really think like most people think Feudum's yeah. an ugly game. Yeah, I think Feudum is. It is, it is it's ugly. like it's like they melted crayons and then. It, like, yeah, maybe <laughs> if I was on like some acid or something, I'd be like, <laughs> yeah. "Oh yeah, that makes sense." But no, yeah. <laughs> but oh, yeah, other than that, yeah, I'm looking at it. I'm like, <laughs> flashbacks. <laughs> yeah, oh, God. so good. I like the Feudum artwork. Yeah, but yeah, so yeah, let there us know. know. Let us know what games you think are ugly. Mm -hmm. Where wh where are we wrong? Where do we miss? Never. Where do we miss? I don't think we were wrong. Yeah, we weren't no. wrong. But I'm saying, no. where could they be right at? Uh, leave your comment in the comment section of which uh, Firefly Legendary <laughs> card is the worst. Because <laughs> there's going to be a lot of comments that yeah. aren't the same. Right. Because they're all just bad. Pick a card. I'm glad I haven't seen that, man, because I don't like to ruin Firefly with bad yeah. things. Oh, yeah. Well, the game might actually and be great. And the box is awesome. Yeah. The box I mean, looks so cool. Yeah. They trick you. They do. They get you in yeah. there. That's one of the few games I actually got like at a Gen Con, and oh, when wow. it came out, I was like, "I'm getting this game when it comes out." Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we should have been so friends then. I could have told you. Yeah, <laughs> the preview stuff was all like, uh, "What you gonna do? Yeah, what are you gonna do? Yeah. Well, How you're gonna you? comment, like, like subscribe, subscribe, bring share, that bell, all bring that stuff, mm -hmm. all the YouTube things. Uh, sick us on your friends, yeah, mm -hmm. and family, like a mad dog chasing uh, cars. I got the uh, board game mechanics. The yes. Pretty okay podcast. Pretty okay podcast. Tons of videos. Uh, we pop up on there occasionally. Once in a while. So, mm -hmm. and then Jason from there also pops up on our channel. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. It's like this weird rivalry thing that we've yeah. got. We c we are we clearly like superior. You know, sometimes they're wrong, and we do have to correct. We them. have to just correct them. Yeah. I mean, it is correct what the it record. Is. You'll never learn from your mistakes if you aren't slapped in the back of the head every once by us right. specifically. Yeah. Can't surround yourself with yes men, or you'd be doomed to fail. That's true. correct. I agree. Oh, crap. No! <laughs> <laughs> so for the board game rundown, I've been Tim. 
I've been Bob. I've been Dan. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. I need to shoot my shot really quick. Uh -huh. Oh, he's going to come in with Candyland. Oh, God. No, actually. <laughs> you thought about That's it. That's the best art. Are you kidding me? No, uh, the, the Blade Runner card game. Uh, I oh. hate the art for that. Oh, yeah. The art yeah, for Blade Runner. I don't think it's terrible, it's, but... It's by WizKids, which is uh -huh. a big company. It's yep. a big IP. And it's in that universe, yeah. And, it, and the cards just look like... Cartoony. They got some weird... Like they made a weird style. Mm -hmm. They made a weird style choice. Yeah, that's, that's my takeaway it. from it. Is I don't think the art's terrible, but it, that is not Blade Runner art. Yeah. I don't know why right. they did that. Yeah, right. They need to go more cyberpunk with it. Anyway, no, thanks, I agree. Jeff. Shot. We agree. Shooted. So Shot shooted. Thanks for checking out the board game rundown. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Share our videos on social media and spread the word. We publish new content weekly, including reviews, unboxing, and let's plays. And as always, thanks for watching.